G'day everyone, I hope you are doing well. I'm just going to go for a little walk down the main road of Sanur Bali just to check out what has changed. So last time I was here was December 2019, so just over two years ago. It's now the 11th of April 2022. So I'm just going to walk down the main road, check out what has closed. Check out the restaurants and the shops, see what has closed. So I'm staying here at Andaz, which is a new five-star resort, opened about a year ago. So let's walk out to the main road and let's check out what's there. So it is 11 a.m. The temperature is already 31 degrees Celsius, so it'll get to about 32 degrees at the middle of the day. Um, not so humid, so it's quite nice condition, so hopefully I won't get too sweaty walking about. So this is the main road, so Jalan Danau Tamblengan. So it seems to be there's the one main road that goes through Sunua. So I'm going to do this walk up to the northern area of Sunua. I'll do tomorrow, I'll walk along the beachfront, and I'll also walk south down the southern part of um, Sunua. All right, so those coming to Bali, there is no quarantine anymore. So it took me about 45 minutes to get through immigration. So I came two nights ago. I just had to show my passport, my vaccination certificate. You have to be fully vaccinated, and I had to do a PCR test 48 hours before leaving Sydney. Now you are also supposed to download, there's an Indonesian app, Pedulilingunyi, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Now they didn't even ask me at the airport if I had that. When I checked in at Sydney airport, the airline I was flying with, they asked me if I had downloaded it and I hadn't. They made me stand to the side, download it and register it. And then they checked me in once I had that. But at Bali airport, they did not even ask for it. I think you are supposed to register your vaccination certificate and your PCR results, but I didn't do that, and they didn't ask. So it's probably about a 10 minute walk up to central Sunua. So I will just point out some of the stuff that I know, see if anything has closed. So I've walked along the beachfront twice, so the last two mornings. Most things are open. There was a couple places that are closed, there was a beach club that was here in December 2019 that has closed. There was a little convenience store I used to go to that had closed. But everything else, the resorts, all the villas, a lot of the restaurants, they are all open. As you see, it is very quiet. So most of the villas, their restaurants are out the front of the beachfront. They were maybe two or three tables full of people, but it is very quiet. All right, this is the front of the Maya Resort. Maya, M-A-Y-A. So that is open. They look like they were busy. Their restaurant was probably half full. So there you see, Maya, Maya. And there's a Japanese restaurant here, Ku, which I went to last time. Very good indeed. So I, well, it looks like it is open, not yet. It's 11 o'clock, so not open for lunch yet. But I will try and get to go for dinner there. So later on this trip, so in about a week's time, I'm going to go stay in Changu. And then I'm there for three nights. And then I'm going to go stay in Semenyak. So I'll be there for five nights. So I'll make some videos there as well. I've never been to Changu before. So this will be my first time, so I don't know what to expect. Semenyak I've been to a few times, so I'll see what has closed there. Barbershop, it looks like it's new. I don't think that was there last time. Alright, now I'm just going to speed up. I'll skip some of the boring bits. There's probably another five minutes walk and I'll be in central Sanur. Where there's a heap of restaurants and shops. So all for diving are open, so you want to get in some scuba diving.
this morning when I walked along the beachfront. I walked past Sindhu Markets, which are right down at the beachfront. Been there before, there must be 80 or 90 little shops that are selling pretty much the same thing, sarongs and t-shirts. Um, the little lady at the front, she harassed me a little bit. She's like, come and have a look at my shop. Please come and have a look. So I'll have a video down there, because it looks like a lot of the shops in that marketplace is closed. So I will go back and buy some t-shirts from that lady. Because I guarantee the people of Bali are desperate for your cash. I don't know what the percentage is, but there's a very high reliance on tourism. So two years without tourists, they are looking for some money in their pocket. All right, the 101. There are plenty of little warungs open now that pharmacy has been there forever they are open now you see a couple of shops are it's monday so you'll see a couple of shutters are closed i don't know if they're out of business custom leather that's been there for as long as i can remember So, so far, apart from those little shops with the shutters down, looks like everything else is open. Uh, Cafe Smorgas. This is a Swedish restaurant. It's been there a long time and there are people in there, so good to see. Haven't eaten there, but I have to go and try their Swedish meatballs. Yulia 2 homestay that's been there as long as I can remember it open but no guests Coco Mart is open and I'm just gonna cross the road and let's check out some prices this is Terras Rest Retro Sports Bar and Grill all right, happy hour. 22,000 for a small beer, 55,000 for a spirit or a cocktail. All right, some more shutters down. All right, massage. So 70,000 per hour for a Balinese massage, 50,000, 40 minutes for foot reflexology. So I think those prices are pretty much the same as two years ago. You probably could get them cheaper, but that seems to be a reasonable price. All right, now this is a good little supermarket, Popular Express. So I know they do cases of beer in there. So rather than spending money on the oh, almost run over, all right. Rather than buying expensive beers in your hotel, you go to one of those convenience stores or the little supermarkets. There's another one there, Indo Maret. So you buy your beers there and stick them in your mini bar. Have some afternoon beers. So we're getting pretty close to the middle of Sunur. So Casablanca. Now that was one of the busiest places at night time. So sports bar, live TV, they have live music. But it's closed for now. It's getting close to lunchtime. I thought they would be open. I will check later tonight, see if they're open. Maybe they just open at night time. All right, Swiss Bell Resort is open. There's people in reception over there. Now, my personal opinion, I don't know why you'll stay on that side of the road. The beach is over that way, so I don't know why you'd want to stay over there. There are plenty of villas and hotels along this side that have access directly to the beach. Just up there, Warong Pragina. I have been there, usually every time I come to Sunua, I have their crispy duck. But it is looking a bit sad. 
I think this is closed. Yep, that looks like it hasn't been open for a while. So another casualty of the pandemic. Yeah, now you'll see closed. So that's sad. I won't be getting my crispy duck. I'll have to find somewhere else. All right, wicked parrot. All right, this is like an Irish pub. Bang, buka, bulum, kapan, May. Okay, okay, terima kasih. All right, so the wicked parrot is closed until May. They was a really good Irish pub. Good live music. They did Irish food, Irish stews. They did a big breakfast. So that's sad. So May. Gria Santrian. This is a nice resort. I've stayed here a few times. That is open. I saw out the front. Not so busy. Their restaurant out the front. Probably three tables full of people this morning. So Bali needs tourism. The village. Good Italian. Very good pizza. Again, looking a bit sad. Curtains down, not preparing for lunch. All right, again, sad. I usually visit here once every visit just to have their pizza. All right, that's a good deal. Buy one, get one free, only 35,000. Doesn't actually say, what do you get? I presume it is for a beer. So if you get two beers, so again a smooth. Buy one, get one free, only 35,000. Now, I can't divide 35 by two to work out how much it costs, but I'm sure it's less than 22,000. Now, I did read about this. My favorite Japanese restaurant, Soya, is permanently closed. I had probably eaten here. Well, before I go into that, Starbucks is open. All right, but I avoid Starbucks. All right, so Soya, this was an awesome Japanese restaurant. Really cool decor. Again, I used to come here every time I visited Sunua, probably Well, probably three times. Closed from Saturday 26th of September. Okay, Google says that it is permanently closed. So, very sad. Uh, Uluwatu. So that is Balinese linen. There's a chain of those all over Bali. That is open. My My Bar Restaurant, that is closed. That's been there as long as I can remember. Another pharmacy, open. And a good old bottle shop, they are open. Now wine is so expensive in Bali or Indonesia in general. I think there's something like 100% duty. So if it's a $20 bottle of wine, it'll cost $40 just to get into the country. And then they obviously put their profit on top of that. So actually last night I had a glass of Hatton wine, two islands. The grapes actually come from Australia. They import the grapes and then they actually make the wine in Bali. So they've been here a long time. First time I trade it. New Laser used to be a busy nightclub. It is closed. So you'll see, I reckon 90% of things are open, but obviously a few casualties of the pandemic. Little Universo used to be like clothing store that is closed. Another leather boutique. All right, Tanjung Sari is open. I saw that out the front this morning. So it looks like all the villas and hotels are open. Another shop closed. Money changer closed no exchange rates that i can show you so as i was saying it looks like about 90 percent are open maybe about 10 percent have closed i'm getting close to the northern part of the central sonora it does keep going along but i'm not going to walk that far it is almost lunchtime and i'm getting hot so I'm going to end the video here. So if you're not already subscribed, please click on that subscribe button. Click on the like button because that helps me greatly to spread the word. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. As I said, I will do some videos along the beachfront and down the southern area of Sanua. So look forward to posting those up soon. Thanks for watching.